an enormous comet from the outskirts of the solar system is heading towards Earth. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is a thousand times larger than the average comet and it's approaching at a high rate of speed. Here are the details. Live Science reports that a huge comet that's so large it's classified as a minor planet has been spotted beyond Uranus and is coming toward Earth for a very rare visit in 2031. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein is still far away and hard to see, but the current estimate is that its icy core is around 100 kilometers in diameter, which is extremely large for a comet. It'll make its closest approach in 2031, when it'll sail just outside of the orbit of our Sun's sixth planet, Saturn. Normal long-period comets take more than 200 years to complete an orbit around the Sun, but this one is estimated to take a whopping 5.5 million years to complete its orbit. Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein comes from the Oort Cloud, a spherical cloud of icy objects framing our solar system at around 50,000 to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun, that's 100,000 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Scientists estimate this comet could itself be from as far away as 60,000 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Like all comets, this one will round the Sun and head off back to where it came from. Another comet that might have originated in the mysterious Oort cloud is Halley's Comet, which is visible from Earth every 75 years. Halley is therefore the only naked eye comet that can appear twice in a human lifetime. It last appeared over Earth in 1986 when it stood out clearly in the night sky. It will next appear in 2061. The Voyager spacecraft have found that space is more dense outside the solar system. Here is what you need to know. NASA's Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space in November of 2018 after a 41-year voyage, but its mission is far from over. According to research published in the journal Astrophysical Letters, as Voyager 2 moves farther from our solar system, the density of space is increasing. This supports findings from Voyager 1, which entered interstellar space at a different location in 2012. The solar system's theoretical boundary is called the heliopause. An article published on NASA's website describes the heliopause as the place where the solar wind, which emanates from our sun, is no longer strong enough to push back interstellar winds from the surrounding stars. Inside is the heliosphere, a huge bubble of the sun's magnetic influence made by the solar wind that extends far beyond Pluto. This bubble was thought to be shaped like a comet with a rounded leading edge and tail as it orbits the Milky Way. The heliospheric nose is situated between the two voyagers. But a study published in the journal Nature Astronomy in March using data from NASA missions suggests the heliosphere may in fact be shaped like a deflated croissant. A 3D simulation created using the data shows a curving central bulge with two jets caused by the solar magnetic field shooting away from it. The authors of the study write that the increase in density detected by the Voyager spacecraft could be due to interstellar magnetic fields becoming stronger as they approach and drape over the heliopause. Another theory is that the material blown by the interstellar wind might slow down and build up as it approaches the heliopause. More data is needed from the two voyagers to try to untangle this mystery. However, as the authors of the study note, it is not certain whether the voyagers will be able to operate far enough to distinguish between these two classes of models. Voyager mission team members estimate the spacecraft's transmitters will go quiet in the late 2020s or perhaps in the 2030s. And then they will be alone, out there in the vastness of interstellar space, until their next close encounter with a cosmic object 40,000 years from now. NASA created a fictional asteroid and set it on course to hit Earth six months after being discovered by humanity's early warning systems. Earth's scientists worked together to stop the doomsday rock from hitting Earth, and this is what happened. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth. But participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. 
Currently, Earth's early warning system does inspire confidence. Comet Neowise, a 4.8 kilometer wide chunk of space ice, passed within 64 million kilometers of Earth in July. Nobody knew this comet existed until a NASA space telescope discovered it approaching only four months earlier. In 2013, a meteor about 20 meters in diameter entered Earth's atmosphere without warning. It exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shock wave that broke windows and damaged buildings across the region. More than 1,400 people were injured. The European Space Agency Solar Orbiter has been given the rare opportunity to conduct some bonus science in a serendipitous rendezvous with the tails of the comet Atlas during the next few days. The Solar Orbiter was launched on February 10, 2020 and is en route to the inner solar system to study the Sun and inner heliosphere. The encounter with Atlas had not been planned. Atlas was discovered on December 28, 2019. During the next few months, it grew brighter at such a surprising rate that astronomers thought it might become visible to the naked eye in May. Unfortunately, the comet broke up in early April as it drew closer to the Sun and fragmented further in mid-May. However, also in May, Geraint Jones of the UK's Mullard Space Science Laboratory discovered that the spacecraft would pass through the comet's tails as early as May 31st. The instruments used to study Atlas were not scheduled to be fully functional until the probe's first solar observation on June 15th. As detailed in an article on the space agency's website, ESA scientists moved that timeline forward to begin collecting data when the probe passed through Atlas's ion tail, which points directly away from the Sun on May 31st and June 1st. The solar orbiter will cross Atlas's dust tail, a trail of dust and gas left in the comet's orbit on June 6th. Comets are made of dust, frozen water, ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide. A comet's dust tail is formed by particles that have been blown from the comet by the sun's radiation. The ion tail is made of charged particles that are pushed away from the sun by the solar wind. The ESA's solar orbiter was to take readings from the ion tail using its solar wind plasma analyzer. It will analyze particles from the dust tail using its radio and plasma waves instruments. Chance encounters of this nature with comets have only occurred six times and only noticed after the flybys had taken place. This is the first time scientists have been able to prepare in advance for such an event. In a statement on the space agency's website, Gunther Hassinger, ESA Director of Science, said, An unexpected encounter like this provides a mission with unique opportunities and challenges. But that's good. Chances like this are all part of the adventure of science. Fire from the cosmos is believed to have wiped out some of our earliest ancestors. Research published in the journal Scientific Reports suggests that melt glass samples found at the Abu Huraya site in Syria could be evidence that a comet destroyed one of humanity's earliest settlements 12,800 years ago. The high energy and intense heat needed to create the molten glass material could only have resulted from a cosmic impact, suggests study author and University of California Santa Barbara geology professor James Kennett. He says those sorts of temperatures could melt a car in less than 60 seconds. The findings back a theory known as the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. This suggests that debris from a disintegrating comet entering Earth's atmosphere struck areas in the Americas, the Middle East, and Europe some 12,800 years ago. Kenneth says that the settlement at Abu Huraya would have been abruptly destroyed by such an event. Scientists from the U.S. say they might have a way to find out if the solar system has a primordial black hole for its speculative ninth planet. Astronomers from Harvard University have proposed a task for the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST, mission. This project would try to use the mission's planned observatory in Chile to discover whether the solar system's hypothetical planet 9 is a primordial black hole. According to the study in the astronomical journal Letters, Oort cloud comets could be used to detect the black hole because an intercepted comet would flare up and trip the observatory sensors. According to a news release from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center, a comet approaching the black hole would melt after meeting the accretion disk's heat. The black hole's tidal forces would then disrupt the comet and deposit the matter onto the disk. This process would emit radiation flares. 
The upcoming LSST has high sensitivity and the ability to scan the entire night sky twice per week, while current sensors have to be trained at a predetermined spot. The LSST's advantages should allow astronomers to detect flares from smaller impacts than before. Co-author A.V. Loeb is quoted as saying, The outskirts of the solar system is our backyard. Finding Planet 9 is like discovering a cousin living in the shed behind your home, which you never knew about. But wouldn't a black hole in this analogy mean the cousin in her shed is a murdering psycho? For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.